Welcome to another Monday meditation video. In today's meditation, we're going to focus on balancing work and play to enhance your productivity and quality of life. One of the most important aspects of your creative process is learning how to draw inspiration from your life itself. If your life is not inspiring, your work will eventually fall flat. To do this meditation, you need a comfortable space to sit or lie down, a paper or notebook, and something to write with. Once you're settled into a space where you can be undisturbed for the next 10 minutes, close your eyes gently, take a deep, satisfying breath in through the nose, and then exhale deeply through the mouth. You're going to continue this pattern of breathing throughout the meditation, taking in-breaths through the nose and exhales through the mouth at whatever pace feels comfortable for you. So closing your eyes and settling into your breath, I want you to take the next few moments to focus fully on following your breath and getting yourself into the moment. Deepen your breath here. And as you do so, I want you to imagine a cool but comfortable breeze flowing past you. I want you to feel this breeze on your skin. I want you to hear the sounds of wind chimes that this breeze is rustling nearby. I then want you to draw your attention to the sounds of birds singing. I want you to envision that birds are singing all around you, near and far, soft, peaceful, happy bird songs. I want you to feel a warm ray of sunlight gently streaming across your face and gently washing you in a comfortable glow. I want you to envision soft earth beneath you and luscious grass. I want you to smell honeysuckle and wet grass from a gentle rain that had washed through earlier in the day. I want you to pretend that you're experiencing all of these sounds and smells and sensations in the front yard of your dream home. I want you to imagine that you live in a place with abundant resources, a feeling of peace and safety, where you have acres upon acres of luscious land that sprouts fertile gardens and crops with friendly, loving neighbors lying just beyond the borders of your property. You're happy here. I want you, with your eyes closed, to imagine gazing across the scenery of this yard and what it would look like for you. Is there a rolling field to your right? in a shallow but luscious forest, teeming with life to your left. I want you to take the next few breaths to really imagine yourself in this yard, to imagine smells and sounds, sensations.
Give yourself the next few breaths to deepen this visualization and create your own sacred space. I want you to imagine standing up slowly and turning around to face your beautiful home. Notice the material it's made out of. If there's a porch or what the steps leading up to your door are made of. And as you hold this vision, I want you to imagine walking towards your home with a sense of gratitude and pride. As you walk up the steps, Notice the color of the door, the material it's made of, and the knob. And as you turn the knob slowly, I want you to open the door and feel your heart swell with awe and joy as you view your opulently decorated home. In front of you is a winding staircase. The railing is a crisp white with a tasteful gray banister. As you follow the staircase up with your eyes, you see a beautiful diamond chandelier hanging just above it. At your feet is a crisp white marble floor. The marble pattern subtle, refined, and tasteful. To your left is a grand archway and behind it sits a beautiful living room. The walls are a gray that matches the banister of your stairs. The table within the room is glass and trimmed in gold. Beautiful art, a soft couch, and all different textures of rugs and wall hangings fill the room. There's a blend of soft whites and lavenders and peaches with the gray. And I want you to take a few moments to view this room. Imagine the decor inside of it. Imagine all of these colors working together. And as you have this room in your mind's eye, I want you to walk towards it. Sit down on your soft couch and pull a box out from underneath your beautiful glass and gold table. The box is visibly worn. It's old but its age gives it beauty. On the lid of the box is a beautiful, intricate wood carving. Your name lies at the center of it, surrounded by beautiful patterns and swirls. You run your fingers over your name, and as you open the lid, inside, you view little mementos of your childhood. I want you to see a photograph of one of your happiest childhood memories. It can be large or small. And as you place this photo down, you pick up two more. One is a happy memory of family or friends gathering and you feeling accepted or excited to be around these people. I want you to focus on a memory that this applies to. A memory from your childhood, your teenagehood. 
something joyful. And as you place the second photo down, I want you to pick up the third. And I want you to see your younger self playing a game that you used to love or doing something that brought you joy, such as playing a certain sport or maybe painting. I want you to travel back to this memory of you playing a game or enjoying a hobby just because you loved it and it was fun and it brought you life. And as you place this third photo down, I want your fingers to find an item that means something to you. It can be a medal from a sport that you used to love and play that's in there. It can be a sewing kit if you used to love to make costumes. But I want you to take a moment to decide what would be in this box. Some small item that represents a larger joy in your life. And I want you to hold it gently. Notice its weight and texture as you run your fingers across it. Place this item down next to the three photographs. And I want you to pick up a small book inside the box. As you flip through this book, you realize it's an old photo album. If this photo album was filled of people that brought you joy and taught you important lessons and gave you a sense of love and belonging. I want you to flip through these pages and imagine the people that you'd see. You can imagine that in each photo, the person it features is doing something they love. Or the photo can be of your favorite memory that you have with this person. But as you flip through this little book, page by page, I want you to see the teachers, the friends, the lovers, the family members, maybe even a stranger that did something kind for you. I want you to thank each person as you pass their page. I want you to feel why this person is significant for you and focus on that feeling. And as you place this book down, I want your hands to find a small golden envelope. It's at the corner of the box and as you pick up this envelope, it's very small, but you open the tiny flap and you pull out a folded up piece of paper. And at first it takes you a moment to understand what was written on this page, but then you see that this is all of your dreams, your hopes, the things that you wanted in life that you wrote down long ago. I want you to read through this list. I want you to really hold deeply and think about each of the items that would be on this list for you. What things do you want to experience? What goals do you have in your life that you want to see completed? The items on this list can be as bold and ambitious as you can possibly imagine, or they can be small, simple things that you want to experience. But I want you to imagine reading this list and on each item that you pass, I want you to envision what it would feel like to have that goal completed in your life. And after you do this, you can pause the meditation if you need more time. I want you to hold the list to your chest. Imagine closing your eyes and saying softly, I will make you come true. I will make this happen for myself. I want you to tuck the paper gently back into the golden envelope. I want you to close the lid of the box softly. Embrace the box and place it back under your table. I want you to look around your beautiful home I want you to whisper a soft thank you to yourself for making it happen. I want you to begin to focus now on the room you're actually sitting in. I want you to remember all of the things you saw and felt through this meditation. I want you to remember the people that mean the most to you. Maybe some of them surprised you. Maybe some of them you have forgotten or you've lost touch with. I want you to remember the items on your list. 
And I want you to remember the way it felt to feel that you're safe and happy somewhere that you live. And as you continue to focus on your breath and bring your awareness back to the room around you, you can open your eyes. And I want you to think about how you can add these special people into your life. Sometimes we get so busy, we make excuses as to why we can't see someone or reach out and say hello. But today I want you to think about how you can incorporate more of the people that mean the most to you into your daily routine. I want you to remember the thing that you saw in that box that you did as a child or that brought you great joy, that hobby, that silly thing, that silly game you might have played. I want you to think about how you could bring this into some part of your life, whether it's once a week, once a day, once a month. And I want you to think about the goals you envisioned being written in that box. I want you to write down the people that you saw in this meditation that mean the most to you and some notes on how you might be able to see them more or spend some amount of time with them. I want you to write down the goals that you envisioned being written down on your piece of paper. And I want you to begin to really think of how you could bring those goals into reality. And I want you to think of the game or hobby that brought you joy. And how in some part of your day or week or month, you could bring joyful, fun activities back. We can get so serious and so caught up in professional goals or money worries or whatever it may be that calls for your attention. But if we really stop to think, are you really too busy for joy or love or connection? The answer is that we can add these things to our life and routine at any time. We just have to decide. Take a deep, satisfying breath in. And as you exhale, thank yourself for taking the time to do this meditation. And continue to journal and take action on the conclusions you made today about the changes you'd like to make. Balancing work and play can be done, and it's important for you to make your best work. Thank you for joining me today for this meditation. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if this spoke to you. I'm so grateful that you allowed me the time to guide you through this journey. I'm Ash, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy creating.